Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about the idea of time travel. And I've talked about time travel in the past, but now that I've been using a 4x5 camera, it feels like I'm really time traveling to people who don't know that that camera could be made in more recent years. As soon as somebody sees a large camera like that, they assume it's from the 1900s, or early 1900s, 1910s, 1920s. And they aren't, but the look of, it, of them certainly are. And so I was interested in like, if I were coming from 1916 and time traveling to today, what would I photograph? What would I see that would impress me if I'm in a world of, you know, very few cars are just starting to be built and starting to be made and movies are just starting to get started. What would I photograph that is like so amazing because I would see it with fresh eyes that I can't see as a person really living today. And then I thought of the opposite. What if I were coming from 2066 and I came back today? What would I photograph because I can no longer see it? And to be able to shoot it one more time, what would that be? And I was thinking about the Boulder Bus Depot and, you know, just seeing those buses, I can almost picture what a bus depot in a city looked like in the 1960s. And that would have some interest to me to see now only because of the element of time. And that element of time would certainly be of interest to the person from 2066 as well as from 1916 because both of those, the 1916 person has never seen a bus and the 2066 person may not have any buses left anymore either. And I'm just fascinated by that idea that time is captured in a photograph. And I've talked about Shorpy before and that is a, a site where you can literally time travel to old offices and old cities and old towns and see cars and you go to a different era through the photographs and I feel like there's something special about that thought process where you start to realize if I were shooting for somebody in the past what would I see with fresh eyes if I were shooting for somebody in the future what would I want to capture before it's gone and that's a interesting mental exercise at least I like to play all right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. I welcome comments, and thanks so much for watching. I'll bring you some more.